This lady right here, y'all already know who she is. You already know she is a powerful woman, amen, a powerful, powerful woman of God, Evangelist Paula Bates. And I just want to say I am so grateful, hallelujah, that she had the opportunity to come and speak for us. I am so indeed grateful. So without further ado, I am going to introduce to some of you and present to you others this wonderful, powerful woman of God, Evangelist Paula Bates. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. They belong to God. They belong to God. All the glory, the honor, the praises all day. They belong to God. They belong. They belong to God. All the glory, the honor, the praises of day, they belong to God. Let us praise His name. Let us praise His name. In the morning, the noonday, the evening, all day, let us praise His name. One more time, they belong. They belong to. They belong to God. All the glory. The honor, the praises of day, they belong to God. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. God, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your tender mercy. We thank you, God, for this another time, another hour, another minute, another second. God, that you've allowed us to come together and to give your name, praise, glory, and honor. But God, we don't take it for granted, but we tell you, thank you. Thank you, God, for saving us, sanctifying us, and filling us with your spirit and washing us in your blood. We definitely don't take that for granted, but we clap our hands and we lift our voice and we tell you, thank you. We open up our mouths and we tell you, thank you. We thank you for everything you've done, everything you're doing, everything you're going to do. God, we lift you up and we magnify your name. And God, we ask you now to have your way in this place and move by your mighty power. Let your glory be revealed. An enemy, God, bind you now. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. My soul love you today. My soul adore you today. My soul appreciates you today. My soul lift you up today. My soul love you, God. Oh, how I adore you. How I appreciate you, God. But there is none like you nowhere. None like you nowhere. None like you nowhere. You're a friend above all, God, and I bless your name. I honor you, God, and I praise you. Now, Lord, I ask you to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God, and I be careful to give your name, the praise, the glory, and the honor be thine. And I know you just finished eating your food, and some of you might still be eating. But if you would just uh, indulge me by standing on your feet and giving me a Psalms 47 and 1, clap your hands, O oh ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph, for he is worthy of all of the praise Worthy of all of the glory, worthy of all of the honor. If it had not been for Jesus, we would not be here right now. It is because of his grace and his mercy that we are not consumed. It is because of his grace and his mercy that we have not been cut off. It is because of his grace and his mercy that we are in our right minds. It is because of his grace and his mercy that we have the use and the activities of our limbs. It 
is because of his grace and his mercy that we have shelter over our heads. It is because of his grace and his mercy. Oh, I dare somebody to say it's because of his grace and his mercy. No goodness of our own, but it's because of his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is good and is worthy to be praised. Just lift your hands and love on him. Come on, love on him. 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 Come on, love on him. Love on him. Love on him. Love. Love on him, 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 love on him. Come on, open your mouth and tell him how much you love him. Open your mouth and tell him how much you love him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. For he inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. If you don't praise him, he'll speak to the very rocks and have them crowd in our place. He inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. But there is none like him, none like him. There is none like him. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. How many of you know there is none like the Lord? There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give him glory. For he is worthy. Hallelujah. None like the Lord nowhere. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. For truly God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I honor the Lord today who is ahead of my life. I give honor to, amen, the pastor, amen, my friend and my brother, amen. Pastor Simpkins, come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Man, I honor the fragrance of this house, amen, amen. Come on, come on, help me celebrate, amen, the president, amen, amen, amen. Come on, come on, come on, the rose, the jewel of the rock, come on, come on, help me celebrate. Lady Simpkins, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, help me celebrate. Hallelujah, amen, and to all of the mothers, everyone in your respective places, Amen. And if you will, help me celebrate the queen of my life. Amen. The woman of God that God saw fit to give me to. Hallelujah. Help me celebrate my mother. Come on, help me celebrate my mother. Lady Bates, come on, help me celebrate. Help me celebrate. It is because of her that I am who I am. The God in her. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I celebrate my mother for there is none like her. She is my mother, my friend, my confidant. You see, we live in a day and a time where there are so many young people that, you know, take their mothers for granted. And they think that they are their peers. But that's one thing my mother taught me. I am not your peer. I am not your equal. I am your mother.
And we live in a day and a time now where we got mamas trying to be friends to their daughters and they out here running amok and di being disrespectful. There's a way that you can be a friend to your child, but yet still demand the respect. A mother should be their daughter's and their son's best friend. They should be to, to the place where they can run to them and talk to them and be their number one confidant. You should be able to talk to your mother about anything and not be judged but feel comfortable because number one, she's my mother and she's my friend. She cares about me. She loves me. She's going to correct me in love and in godliness. We got mamas, you want to be your, your baby friend so bad that you'll let them do whatever they want to do. Real love chastises. Real love corrects. Real love from a mama will let your daughter know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and you don't have to go out there and, and, and present your way, yourself in a way, almighty oh, God, that brings, that brings you down and lowers you to a level that you don't have to be on. I thank God for my mama. And I praise God for her. Thank you, Lady Simpkins, for the opportunity to come and share with you on today, just give me a few minutes. I don't plan to be before you long as I look at your thing. It's been beautiful. Amen. Everything has been beautiful. I saw the meal. I hadn't ate it yet, but I'm pretty sure it was delicious. I know you came to a breakfast, so maybe I'm not for sure if you got a Bible. But Joshua, the first chapter. I love you, Mama. Joshua, the first chapter, and I'm going to read the 7th, 8th, and ninth through the 10th and 11th verse. It says, Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. If you'd allow me just for a few moments just to use for a topic on today, don't allow your current situation to shake your faith and hinder you from pursuing your God-given destiny and promise. For the book of Joshua named after Joshua the son of Nun. His name means Yahweh delivered. He was known as one of the greatest military leaders of the Old Testament. Joshua is exceptionally known for his faithfulness to God and his dedication to Moses. It brought him to a platform of being Moses' successor. Joshua experienced witnessing everything that transpired from the time they left Egypt until the death of Moses. Joshua experienced the miracle working power of God. He 
and saw how God brought them out, first of all, the first miracle bringing them out of Egypt and starting them on their journey, and then how he brought them to the Red Sea, and how Pharaoh's army was behind them, and they thought they were going to be consumed, but God spoke to Moses and said, what is it do you have in your hand? He said, stretch out the rod. When Moses stretched out the rod, Joshua saw firsthand how God spoke to the uh, spoke to the, the Red Sea and caused it to and make dry land for the children of Israel to walk. And that same rod that brought them victory is the same rod that brought destruction on the enemy. Joshua saw the miracle working power of God and saw what God could do in their lives. How many of us today have seen God do miracles for others? Almighty God. But then we come to a point in our lives when we begin to pray and seek God, but we don't see the miracle working for us right when we ask God to do it. Almighty God. And we wonder if the same God that worked the miracle on yesterday for somebody else is the same God that will do the same thing for us. But God has to come and talk to us and encourage us so and let us know that I am the same God. I fail not, but I'm the same Yesterday, today, and forever, I change not. Just stand still on my word and watch me work. So he saw, he saw the miracle working powers of God. And so, you mighty God, he was there. He was there. He, he was one of the ones that went and brought back a good report of the land that was flowing with milk and honey. I brought back the report, almighty oh, God, of the grapes, the pomegranates. He was there. He brought back a word to encourage the folk that what God has promised is really still there. I come to tell you today that God sent me by here to let you know that no matter what state you're in now, the promise that God made is still there. It's still waiting for you. You might be heartbroken. You might be going through trial. The promise is still there. But you got to get cross Jordan. Oh, here it was. Joshua, in this first chapter, he had only been an assistant. Assisting Moses with the people. And I always say he was a go-between because he helped Moses understand the younger generation and helped the younger generation understand Almighty God the season. Help them understand Moses. Almighty God. God always has somebody in place uh, that can have, that has a dual mighty God that understands the, the, what happened in the days past uh, and understands the generation now because we've got a generation now that does not understand God uh, like the generation before us. We've got a generation now that doesn't understand Understand the power of God uh, like the generation that came before. God always leaves a witness. Always leaves a witness to let the generation that's coming on now know that you how important it is to pray and seek God. We've got a generation now that's happy go lucky. I can live the way I want to live and still think that I'm pleasing in the sight of God. I can go hang out with this one and hang out with that one. But God will leave a witness to let you know that the word of God, you want to receive the promises. You want to be delivered. You've got to separate yourself from the world. You've got to come out from among them. You've got to see God with all your heart. God always leaves a witness. Oh, here it is. In this first chapter, Moses, Joshua had always been the assistant to Moses. But now Moses is gone. Uh, and in this chapter, he tells God speaks to Joshua. And he says, my servant Moses is dead now. Now the responsibility is in your hands. The responsibility to take these folk over into Canaan is in your hand. Uh, 
almighty God and he told him that no man and nothing is going to be able to come up against you. Joshua didn't understand that God was giving him a warning that you're going to have to go through some trials that Moses didn't have to go through. You're going to have to go through some heartache that Moses didn't have to go through. You're going to have to go through some being despondent, talked about, being radical that they didn't have to go through. You're going to experience some things you ain't never experienced before. Living in a day and a time now where we're experiencing stuff that the saint, that the seasoned saints did not experience. Mighty God. But he told him, he said, but I'm telling you, Joshua, be strong and be courageous. Be strong and courageous. Don't you allow the enemy to cause you to get discouraged and give up. Don't you allow the enemy to cause you to stop but stand still. Told him just like I was with Moses. I'm going to be with you. And that's one thing I love about God is that the God that was with the saints back in the day, almighty God, our predecessors, those that came before us is the same God that's with us today. And he told Joshua, he said, don't let this book of the law, don't let it depart out of your mouth. The reason why we got so many folk that's fallen by the wayside and not experienced the real power of God and not experienced the real anointing of God is because they left the way. Escape out of their heart. He said, meditate on it. Feast on it. Day and night. Get up with it. Lay down with it. Eat it. Said, to make your way prosperous. Too many folk getting away from the word of God. Mighty God today. He said, be strong, be strong. He said, because you got to be the one, the mighty God, uh, that's going to take these folks over in the Jordan. Going to take these folks over this Jordan. Going to take this folk over in Canaan. Uh, almighty God. Uh, he, uh, Jesus. Uh, he said, you got to take them over. They had one more step. They experienced Jordan. How are we going to get through here? So many of us today. God has made us a promise. God has already sketched out our destiny. He's already, he's already put the plan in place for our lives. Almighty God, and when we seem like everything is rolling the way it should roll, mighty God, today, then we're slapped in the face with Jordan. Here it is, they've been told they was going to a land that flowed with milk and honey. But here it is, another obstacle that's keeping them from getting to the promise. Jordan is in front of them. If they can get cross Jordan, they will be over into their next destination. If they can get cross Jordan. But Jordan was the place. It was a point of turnaround for them. Jordan was the place of freedom that was getting them over into their freedom. Jordan was the place that was ushering them out of depression. If Jordan was the place that was ushering them out of oppression. Jordan, once they got Cross Jordan. Huh? They was exiting out of their dilemmas. Huh? They was exiting out of their heartache. Huh? They were exiting out of their pain. Huh? I come by this morning, this afternoon huh? to tell you today huh? that no matter what your situation is, huh? don't you let it shake your faith. Huh? Don't you let it stop you huh? from pursuing your destiny. Huh? Jordan might be in front of you, huh? but you got to tell yourself huh? that the same God uh, that brought the children of Israel uh, through Jordan uh, is the same God uh, that will take me through my Jordan. Uh, your Jordan might be sickness. Uh, your Jordan might be heartache. Uh, your Jordan might be almighty oh, God. Uh, your Jordan might be sadness. Uh, your Jordan might be depression. Uh, whatever your Jordan is, uh, don't set your sight on Jordan uh, but look across Jordan uh, cause on the other side of Jordan is your blessing somebody shout yeah you got to broaden your spiritual vision because they couldn't Joshua even though God told him to be strong be courageous 
he could have stepped back and looked at Jordan and said, we ain't going to make it cross here. Almighty God. He could have stepped back and said, we're going to drown before we get to our destiny. We ain't going to make it. But he kept the word of God in the back of his mind. If God be for me, who can be against me? He could have looked at Jordan and said, I'm already defeated. But in the word of God on the back of us said, great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He could have looked at Jordan and said, I'm already defeated. Almighty God. And felt like he was left alone. But the word of God that was in the back of his mind. He said, Lord, I'll be with you always. Got you by your hand. I'm going to carry you through. Somebody say it. Jordan could have got his sights off of the promise. Jordan could have got his sights off of the victory that God had promised him. Jordan could have got his sights off of his destiny. So many folk in here, you're still lingering on this side of Jordan. You're still lingering on this side of Jordan because fear has set in. I'm never going to move from this place. I'm never going to get out of this dilemma. I might as well get settled right here. But I come to let you know you can't allow fear to grip your heart because fear will cause you to get stagnated. Fear will cause you not to move. Fear will cause you to linger in this stress but I heard the word of God say God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind a sound mind to step in Jordan and to move forward power and a sound mind to say I got God on my side he's with Somebody say it. God could have caused them to stop in the state because you've allowed yourself and the devil to tell you that you'll never be successful. You'll never anything you never amount to nothing you're always gonna be that one that folk wrote off but I come to tell you the devil is a liar God your current your current state that you're in is not where God designed for you to be. Your current mindset that you have is not the mindset that God meant for you to have. God sent me by here to tell you that you're beautiful from the inside out. You're fearfully, you're wonderfully made. I made you with God loves you with an everlasting love. He's built you up to be a witness for him. He's preserved you. He kept you for such a time as this to tell women that's in your spot, that's going through what you've been through, that God snatched me out, 
And the same God that delivered me is the same. a makeover from the inside out. A lot of times folk go to the beauty shops, to the malls to get fixed up, to get a makeover on the outside. But on the inside, they still tore up and messed up, confusing their mind. But God has sent me today to tell you that your makeover ain't coming from the mall. Your makeover ain't coming from Macy's and Neiman's and, and Saks. Your, your makeover ain't coming from the beauty shop. But your makeover is coming from the throne of glory. He's doing an inside job. Inside. You struggle with being happy. I don't deserve to be happy. Why not? You deserve to be happy just like I do. And today, God is making you happy. He's giving you a genuine smile that's going to come from the inside out. And that smile is going to draw, oh my to God, uh, folks you used to hang out with, folks you used to kick it with, they knew you back then. They knew you when you was, you know, I'm not going to say, but, uh, but, 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 yeah. They knew when that smile meant something else. But God has given you a smile today that's going to be a declaration and a testimony of the true love of God and his power to bring complete deliverance his power to deliver your mind his power to deliver your soul somebody shall spiritual makeover God say take your sights and your mind off of the past and what you once were and look at where God has taken you to look at the new you look at the new you from the inside out I dare you to shout I am new the Bible that I read say he that is in Christ is a new creature all things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Hmm. I looked at you and I heard God say, support system. I'm changing you to be a support system. Y'all going to support each other. These self-esteem issues that y'all been dealing with, from the day on, you ain't dealing with them no more. You walk around with your head high. Folks gonna say you think you something. You better believe it. Cause I got God on the inside. And he said I can do all things through Christ. Walk around I am somebody. Cause Christ lives on the inside of me. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Say Lord. Forgive me of everything that I've said, that I've done, that I've acted out, that I've even thought that wasn't pleasing in your sight. Make me over, God. Put your best work to work. Come on, come on, say, Lord, I'm surrendering my will so you can do what you want to do. 
in me and through me to be used for your glory. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, come on, tell him thank you. You'll never be the same. 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 Never, 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 never be the same. I dare somebody to shout, never be the same. Never be the same. Never, never walk back there to that door and declare, I am a new creature. Come on, I am a new creature. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I am a new creature. I am a new creature. I am a new creature. I am made whole from the inside out. I am made whole from the inside out. They both see. I am made whole. I am made whole. I am. Oh. God just shook. Give me mad. I ain't so heavily anointed that I don't use wisdom. I am made whole. I am made whole. <laughs> Building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. How can I stay strong? How can I stay courageous? Through praying and fasting. Don't allow. I got to quit now. But don't allow. You're on this side of Jordan. Diminish your faith. Cause you to be weary in your faith. And make you become stagnated on this side of Jordan. Joshua got the children of Israel together. It don't tell me the word, but I believe he declared the same God that brought us through the Red Sea. Is the same God that's going to take us through Jordan. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. Your current situation might be bringing you heartache. My current situation got me in a state where I can't do nothing but grab hold of faith and courage. 
Because the enemy will come and talk to you in your current state and mess with your mind and make you think you ain't getting no further than where you are now. The enemy will come and talk to your mind in your current state that you're in and tell you, you've preached this thing. You've preached miracles, signs, and wonders. But what happened to yours? And you still got the nerve to declare that God is a miracle worker? Your current state on this side of Jordan will cause you to struggle in your faith and almost get you to a point where you say, I'm just going to go be a church member, pay my tithes, and not open my mouth no more. But you're in a crucial state on this side of Jordan. This is a crucial spot. If you allow the enemy to shut you down on this side of Jordan, there are souls that will go to hell because you stopped. There are souls that will never be delivered because you stopped on this side of Jordan. You'll never see God work in a way he wants to show you if you allow the enemy to make you stop on this side of Jordan. On this side of Jordan, you're at risk of going back into what God delivered you from. On this side of Jordan, you at risk of dying with whatever sickness that's in your body. On this side of Jordan. Oh, but somebody say on the other side of Jordan. God is going to allow us to see some things that we've never seen before. On this side of Jordan. Tears of heartache, tears of pain. On this side of Jordan is struggle. On this side of Jordan is poverty. On this side of Jordan is a day by day handout. On this side of Jordan, you barely making it, but on the other side. So whatever your Jordan is, keep the word of God in your heart that will continue to strengthen you and give you the ability to be maintain courageousness. I probably ain't even a word. To stay courageous to get you to the other side of Jordan so that you can get to your destiny. I know the thoughts that I think of you. I know the plans. Thoughts of peace, thoughts of good. To give you an expected end. My expected end is not on this side of Jordan. Heartache, I'm dealing with heartache and tears on this side of Jordan. But when I get on that side of Jordan, the power of God will be made manifest. And I'll have peace in my mind and say yes to the will of God on this side of Jordan. But don't allow your current situation to mess with you and mess with your mind and cause you to get stuck on this side of Jordan. Stuff that you've been waiting to happen. I come to tell you, I, I, I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not going to happen on this side of Jordan. It's not going to manifest until you get on that side of Jordan. But you got to get your mind right. So you know how to act on that side of Jordan. You can't take a ghetto mentality on that side of Jordan. This side of Jordan is the ghetto. For some folk. 
Somebody say, I'm living good. I'm sitting in a gated community on this side of Jordan, but there's some folk on this side of Jordan that have got a ghetto mentality, and you can't take a ghetto mentality on that side of Jordan. Caleb told them, say, give me my mountain when I get on that side of Jordan. You got a mountain on that side of Jordan. You got a continual flow on that side of Jordan. But God got to get your mind right. Got to get you to a place where you'll say, not my will, but your will be done on this side of Jordan. He's got to get you to a place where it say, not my will, God. Have thine own way on this side of Jordan. So he know he got complete surrenderance on that side of Jordan. Some folk you kicking and went hanging with is going to stay on this side of Jordan because they can't handle what's happening on that side. There's some folk that didn't make it to Canaan, but he preserved you so you can make it. So be strong. Be courageous. Meditate on the word of God. Stand still, see the salvation of God. Walk in his presence keep a clear mind so he can speak to you because over there in that second chapter and I'm getting ready to go he gives them a plan on how to follow leadership to get to that side of joy that's a whole nother one lift your hands I gotta go say God I'm tired of being stagnated Come on, come on. Wait a minute. Stop now. Get yourself together and talk to God. You done done all of that for a long time. A lot of times, we, I, I'm not being rude, but a lot of times we get caught up in ooh, ooh and leave the same way we came in here. Because a lot of times that woo is coming from the flesh and not coming from the soul. When you really get tired of being in a state that you're in, you talk to God. He knows what's going on on the inside. He knows what's happening here. But in, there are some time in order for you to really be delivered and get to the place where you need to be. You've got to confess it out of your mouth. See that? Ooh, sometimes it's a cover up. Because we don't really want to move where God wants to take us to. So we figure I can get by with just, ooh, no, God don't want to, ooh, he wants you to talk to him. As long as we, ooh, do all that crying and whimpering and all of that stuff, we can stay in the state of denial that I don't really need God to deliver me and snatch me out of what I'm in. I can still linger where I am. But if you really want to be delivered, God wants you to talk to him. It's got to come from in here and out of your mouth. Now, if you really are tired of being in the state that you're in, talk to him and tell him. I'm tired of being stagnated. Come on, talk to him. I'm tired. Of being in the state that I'm in. I'm tired of being on this side of Jordan. Don't talk to me. Talk to him. Come on. Come on. He's the only one that can help you. He's the only one that can deliver. And if you really want to be delivered. Tell him I want to be delivered God. I want to be delivered God. I'm tired of being on this side of Jordan. I want to be set free. Talk to him and tell him. Tell him. Tell him. I want to be delivered. Oh, God, deliver the day. Now, it's up to you. You really mean it. It's up to you to rededicate and stay faithful and stop going. 
Just stop. Oh, I can't do it within myself. With the help of God, you can. I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. God takes your I can and manifests it and gives you the ability to be able to do in his power. Now it's up to you to seek him diligently. Seek him with your whole heart. Get in the book. I'm not talking about no novels. I'm talking about his word. And meditate on it day and night. God told Joshua, meditate on it day and night and you'll make your way prosperous. You want to be prosperous and get out of the state you're in. You got to get in God's word. Read it. Study it. Sleep it, eat it, let it get in here. And after that, obey it. Obey it. A lot of folk read the word, but they don't want to obey it. Obey it and live it. And God will make your way prosperous. But you got to get in God and be sincere. I'll list part-time in, out, go when I want to. I got to go to you a little bit. I got to do this. All of that right there? You really want God? I said, separate yourself. Come out from among them and be separated, saith the Lord. Touch not, handle not the unclean thing. He said, then I will come. I can stand here and lay hands on you all day and night, but if you ain't got a made-up mind, and got it in here. I'm just getting exercise. But you got to have a made up mind. And got to have it in your heart. And God will bring about the change that you so desire. God bless you. <laughs> lift your hands in this place. I'm through. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Don't allow your current situation to get your sights, to mess with your faith, and cause you to get stagnated on this side of Jordan. When God has got his, your promise on that side of Jordan. Jordan is your path to your destiny, to miracle signs and wonders. To the promises of God. God is not forgotten. God is not forgotten. He said that he would do it. God is not forgotten. He's not forgotten your labor of love. God is not forgotten. He said, I do so much good for folk. When is, some, when is my time going to come around? God is saying, God is not forgotten. God is not for God. Said I've even given them my last. Some folk I've even given them clothes out of my closet, clothes out of my back. When is it gonna be my time? When is somebody getting ready to tell me they love me? When is God? I, when is I, I'm I'm doing all I know how? When is it? God said I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten what I've said. I'm gonna do it. God is not forgotten. You're on God's mind. Mm hmm. Yeah, you cry, and the same folk that you've helped have stabbed you in the back and, 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 and just drug you through your name through stuff. Don't worry about it. They were setting you up for the greatest blessing. Because blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you. Say, all oh, men of evil against you for my grace. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Great is your reward in heaven and night. Before you get to heaven, God going to show you who he is and give you some blessing. So don't worry about it. Because God said, I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten what I've said. I'm going to do it. God has not forgotten. He's going to make your enemy your footstool. Those that was hating on you. Ah, you gonna be you ain't gonna treat them bad. You gonna help them because they gonna need you before you will ever need them. And you gonna bless them still with a smile on your face. And you gonna testify, God 
did this for me and it's marvelous in my eyes. God say, I'm going to lift you up in the eyes of your naysayers, in the eyes of your enemies, in the eyes of folk that have scandalized your name. God said, I got you. God is not forgotten. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Lift your hands. I really got to go. There's folk that even said, you serving God and he ain't doing this and that. Next time somebody come talking some negative stuff. Huh. My, I, I remember growing up, they would say, turn a deaf ear to the devil. Turn a deaf ear, but before you turn your deaf ear, just tell them God ain't forgot about me. And tell him not many days here, God going to show you he ain't forgot about me. I'm on his mind 24-7. And you better believe it. Touch a Lord from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. You see her heart. She's been faithful. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your miracle working power penetrate through her body. In the mighty name of Jesus, rebuke the hand of the enemy that would come to make her ache and pain. God... Do the impossible. Do it for your glory in Jesus' name. Don't. That song just keep going over and over. I'm going to need you to listen to that. That's your theme song. That's your theme song. When the enemy comes to try to get you depressed and down, I want you to go flip that song on. God is not forgotten. God is not forgotten. Oh, go get tired of you playing it, but you tell him that's my song right now. If he said it, he would do it. God has not forgotten. Lift your hands. I got to go for real. Stand still, man of God. Hold your peace. God is going to fight it for you. Stand still. Firm in what you believe. And watch God fight it. And give you favor. Favor. He's going to fight it. The battle is not yours. But it belongs to God. And he's going to bring you out with victory. Lift your hands. I got to go. Don't let your current situation. Smile. Because you look so much better when you smile. Even when things happen in your life that you don't understand, smile. And God is going to bring you a lift through your smile. Because a smile looks good on you. Don't let your current situation cause you to get off track. Make your faith waver to make you doubt God. And cause you to linger on this side of Jordan. Don't let your current situation mess with your faith to the point it will cause you to forfeit the destiny that God has designed for you and the promise that he already has in place. Because he's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. He spoke it, he said it, he's going to do it. Every word that he speaks is yes and amen. Be strong. Be courageous. Get through Jordan and get to your destiny. God, we thank you now for your word. Thank you for everyone that's here under the sound of my voice. God, let your word take root in our hearts. That we may continue to grow and continue to build our strength and confidence and faith in you. Help us to stay courageous in you. That we can stomp on the enemy's head and tell him, I'm going to leave you on this side of Jordan and I'm stepping across into my promise. Because just over is my promise. Stay strong. Stay courageous.
And there's a point in there that says every place the sole of your foot shall tread, he's going to give it to you. Not on this side, but on this side of Jordan. Everywhere you walk, he's going to bless it and give it to you. Somebody shall be strong, be courageous, and get on cross Jordan. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand to your feet. Give Lord a good Lord a praise for the mighty word you have heard today. God has not forgotten. He hasn't forgotten everything you've been through. He's not forgotten what you're going to have. So trust God. What a word. What a mighty word. God has not forgotten. He got you no matter who you are. He has you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Evangelist, for the mighty word. What a mighty word. We thank God for it. All right. You can just take your seats just for a few moments. Amen. Just a couple of things more that we would like to do. And I just want to know at this particular time, who is the youngest lady in this building? Not child, lady. Not little bitty person, but lady. Who is the youngest one? In your 20s, are you 19, 20, 30, 40? <laughs> I got some well wishes in here, but I need to know. How old are you, sweetheart? She's 25. Is anyone in this building a young lady younger than 25? I know we got a lot of wannabes in here, but... <laughs> All right, the youngest lady, thank you so much for being here today. Those flowers on the table are yours. Amen. They belong to you. We thank you for being here today. Amen. We just want to do something to show you that we love you. Who's the oldest lady in the building today? Who is the oldest lady in the building today? Okay. Okay. Is who? 80, is anybody over 84? Hallelujah. Those flowers on the table belong to you, mother. Take them with you as you walk out the door. Is there anybody's birthday today? Anybody's birthday today? Or anybody's birthday or close, it's close to this date? May, May 29th? May 27th, 27, okay, we got 27, any other? May 20th, oh, May 20th. All right, is anybody close to May 20th? All right, baby girl, you pick any flower, but you can't pick that one over there. You can't, you, you, you take that one right there, that's yours. <laughs> Okay, I just want to thank everyone for coming today. This word has been indeed beautiful. And mother, while you are here, you can pick whatever flower you want, amen, on the table. In fact, I think that's a beautiful one you're sitting at the table. That's yours. That's yours, amen. That is definitely yours, amen. I thank God for all of you. And uh, let's see, what else? Anything I need to do, ladies? Can you remind me? What is that? Tell me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come, 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 come. Okay, we want to give out a couple of Starbucks um, cards to uh, a few ladies. Amen. Just to say we thank you for coming and for being here. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Amen. And uh, we'll let them do this real quickly, and then we are going to dismiss it before you leave. Please do not forget to patronize our vendors in the back. Amen? Amen. Amen. Y'all need a mic. So what are you guys doing? Well, First Lady, you are so nice, and you're so sweet. Didn't she do a bumper job, y'all? Come on, women's of Solid Rock, stand to your feet. Come on, let's love is best shown in action. Come on, let's give it up, give it up to her.
Amen. We just got another little love token for you. All right, we have um, some gift cards. All right, and we want you to come up with a number. A number one through, what's the oldest woman when it was here? 84. 84? One, zero, one through 84. <laughs> no, anybody else want to throw out some numbers? No. Oh, almost. Okay, I'll tell y'all what. The one that came the closest, amen, we're going to give her the card. And that was, the number was 32, and you had 35. Well, let's say this. We said the oldest person, but who's the next oldest person? And we had 84. 83? Well, go ahead, Mother McCoy. Let's give Mother McCoy. Now, do we have anybody? You was hollow? Oh, I remember those days. I was skipping and jumping. All right, anybody is 27. <laughs> what about anybody 28? <laughs> Come on, Patricia. We thank y'all for patronizing us. Amen. Didn't we have a good time? Amen. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Didn't we enjoy that word? Oh, wasn't that a hot word? That was a right now word. Amen. That kind of word pierces your inside. Amen. You eat the whole roll and let it stand there and digest it. Amen. That was some good word. Amen. And, and evangelists, we have some more gifts for you. Amen. And that's coming from our own, amen, um, vendors in the rear. Amen. Re vendors, would y'all stand up? We have, amen, Missionary Burnett representing Mary Kay. And then we have our own author, Amen. Uh, missionary Bass. Amen. Amen. Love is best shown in action, y'all, right? So we love the evangelist and we love our first lady. God bless everyone. Hallelujah. Is that it? Where's Pastor Simpkins? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Y'all know what? This is his church. I'm just a member. Okay? I'm a member. I am just like you. I pay my tithes, my offering. I'm obedient because that's my pastor. Amen. I just want to say I thank God for each and every one of you being here today. First Lady Bobo, God bless you. I love you so very much. First Lady Bobo is going to be our speaker in the morning. So those of you who just want to hear her speak, I would appreciate if you would come out. We will also be on Zoom, but I would love to see you here to hear her speak tomorrow at 1130 service. Amen. She will be here. I am so honored to have her here. Amen. And then I am so honored to have this beautiful First Lady here with me. Amen. I just love you so much. 
First Lady Levias. Amen. God bless her. God bless her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, the mother of our speaker, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Woo. When she was talking about her mother, and her mother was right here beaming. Woo. The smile was there. I was like, oh my God, what a blessing. Ladies, enjoy your mothers while they're here. Enjoy your mother. If you got something going on with them, squash it, leave it in the past, and move on. Because you only get one. Hallelujah, you only get one. Oh, God bless everyone that's here. The mother of Solid Rock. I have to say, Mother McCoy, I appreciate you so much. I love you so much. You're always here. You're always supporting me, no matter what. We laugh together, we talk together, we be together, and I enjoy you. You are so awesome. I can go to her house. I'm going to go for a minute, but I end up there for hours. <laughs> we both, we going at it, and I appreciate it. And this lady here, oh, my gosh, she has so many titles in our jurisdiction, and I love her, Mother Gates. Mother Gates, thank you so much for coming out and supporting us. Amen. And I also want to mention Mother Lonnie Barker. She is not here in present, but she was online today supporting us. And I thank God for her presence. Amen. I don't want to forget anybody. So I just want to say God bless all of you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for whatever you've done. You all have been beautiful. I appreciate it so much. Can I say something to y'all? Show you how real the devil is. I was sitting here looking. I was like miserable. Man, I was thinking all kinds of thoughts, and I picked up the juice and I pulled it, and the whole top just went blue. And the Lord said, You better get out of there. That's what He told me, You better get out of there. And I had to get out of there. And I said, Lord, I thank you. I said, Lord, I thank you. And I just started praising God. Amen. He had to get my attention. Amen. So when He gets your attention, Wake up and walk in it. Hallelujah. I thank God for waking me up. And he'll wake you up every time. Don't ignore the call, saints. Don't ignore the call. Again, thank you so much. If I have forgotten someone or not said what I needed to say, please forgive me. Count it to my brain and not my heart because I be forgetting a lot of stuff. Amen. I got so much going on. But I do want to thank God for Taboo. He's our son. He came all the way from Reno. Amen. Woo! Uh, God bless him. He's working like he never left. I don't know where he is, but his beautiful wife, Ebony, is here right by his side supporting him. And I thank them. I thank them. I love you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let's speak her. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo, Lord. Oh, what an anointed woman of God. And I also want to thank our hospitality people. Amen. My hospitality. Amen. Amen. This is Tanisha Askew. She comes and she does a bumper job every year right here in the house. And she has her staff that works so faithfully with her every year. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you. And now without ado, I'm not going to keep you any longer in the house. And I want to thank the men. I can go on and on. The men of Solid Rock. Thank you for coming out. Hallelujah. Supporting us, feeding us, making sure everything is good. Making everything go sure everything is well. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all so very much. And I thank my grandson for being back there. Hallelujah. Working. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I'm talking to you. All my, I got, oh yeah, my other grandson too. All my grandkids are here too. Not all of them, but three of them are here. So I thank God for my daughter, Brianna, being here to support me in everything that I do. Hallelujah. Everything that I do, she's there to support me and I praise God for it. So without further ado, we're going to have a benediction. And we will not leave here without hearing Pastor Simpkins' voice. <laughs> hey, check this out, what you want me to do. I don't get no trouble. 
Listen, let me just say, this was a powerful, wonderful gathering. This was powerful. Good to see you, Mother. Praise God. I'm so glad that you brought your daughter, the First Lady, here. I'm so glad it hadn't been for you. I don't know if she... Okay. All right. Hallelujah. Listen, we honor the Lord for every one of you. And this has been a fantastic gathering. Amen. And uh, you know what's important is, people, it's difficult to serve God and all the strength that he can give you in isolation. Y'all think about that. You need somebody. A chorus of praise is powerful. Amen. A chorus of praise. And so you praise him in soprano and I praise him in tenor and you praise him in alto. Glory to God will offer a harmony of praise. Sends up a sweet smelling savor into the nostrils of God. Come on, just before we go, y'all stand. We're going to give benediction, but stand and give God a chorus of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mother Bates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 And I've been in this church in and around. I've been around this church. Let me say it that way more accurately. I've been around this church all of my life. I was born in this church. Uh, glory to God. But I still had not heard. God is not forgotten. God is not forgotten. He said he's going to do it. God is not. Say it again. Say. Look at somebody and tell them. He said he's going to. God. Say it one more time to somebody else. Say it like you mean it. Sing. Tell him he's working it out. Yes. That was a, I hadn't heard that song, but that was good. <laughs> now, Sister Tracy, I'm not trying to take your song, but I'm going to borrow it. I just want you to know I'm going to borrow it. Glory to God. You might say, hey, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You might say, what was the words of that song? Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was good. That was rich. Listen, I just want to say thank you all so much for coming and showing up and being a part. This breaks. Amen. This is post-pandemic praise. Amen. So we praise God. I do want to encourage everybody, be careful. Take care of yourself. Come to church. Glory to God. Put your mask on. Glory to God. Uh, put your antiseptic or whatever they call that stuff on. Glory to God. Rub it on your arms and your face and your hair, whatever you do with it. Amen. But come on to church and send up a chorus of praise. I'm not going to. I'm going to ask our speaker to give us the benediction, if that's all right, First Lady. Glory to God. You, she has ministered to us, and we appreciate it. One more time, clap your hands for Evangelist Paula Bates. Amen. Praise God. Thank you again. Thank you again. I love you all. Please keep my myself, my mother, my family. Keep us all in your prayers as we endeavor to do and live in the perfect will of God. God, we thank you again for this setting, this time that you've allowed us to come together. God, we ask you, God, to continue to keep us covered with your blood, continue to keep our bodies well, continue to cover us as we go to and fro. And God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, God, oh God, let that word stay rooted in our heart. Don't allow the enemy to snatch it out. But God, let it take root in our heart that we may continue to grow in you, oh God. Lord, keep us with a mind stayed on you. Keep us as the apple of thine own eye. Keep us, oh God, with a spirit of praise in our heart, on our lips, and prayer in our heart. Oh God, ever continue to trust in and believe in you. And we'll be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. Bring us back at the appointed time, still proclaiming victory over sin. And we'll forever praise you and we'll forever glorify you in Jesus' name. Don't let your current situation mess with your faith to keep you stagnated on this side of Jordan. Be strong, stay courageous, and get on cross Jordan. Praise God. Hey, brethren, you all help us. Uh, ladies, you can help us a bit. But brothers, we got to set the sanctuary back up for tomorrow's service. Amen. 
So we're going to do that. We'll bring in some bags so that we can throw our whatever in the trash. <laughs>